we're going to start the speed of light calculations. I'm going to break this lesson up into three separate videos. The first lesson over the formula, the second lesson will be over solving for wavelength, and the third lesson solving for frequency. On the top of page 36 in your notebook, you should have the title, speed of light calculations, and the formula plus labeling what the different symbols mean. Lowercase c is equal to this symbol that looks like an upside down y, which is called lambda, times frequency, which looks like a v and is called nu, if you read it in the textbook. So c is equal to lambda times nu, or speed of light is equal to wavelength times frequency. The speed of light is actually given to you. You'll never solve for c. It is a uh, constant, we know what it is. We're gonna use it to either solve for wavelength or solve for frequency. Um, the speed of light is known to be 3.00 times 10 to the eight meters per second. This symbol right here is lambda and it represents wavelength. That's the distance between two crests. It is measured in meters um, because it's a length. And the nu, or the V, is frequency, and it's measured in hertz, or cycles per second. In the formula, you're going to have to use the cycles per second. I'm going to show you that. And a lot of times in the words, it's labeled in hertz. A little note here for you. None of this is in the district packet. You need to memorize the speed of light as well as the formula. And I think that does it for the introduction, which is just explaining to you the formula for the speed of light.